Turbo has to say bye. Are you coming with me? He's <laughs> <laughs> got his toad all hooked up. His just has a tow bar that stays attached to it, so it's pretty easy to load up. He puts a brake buddy in it, so he's got the automatic braking system that goes in there. And the tow bar just stays attached to the Jeep, which is nice. Buzzers just because I turned it off back there. The Volkswagen thing, since it doesn't have a wrap or paint on it anymore, it needs to get stored out of the weather. So we went today and bought a 10 by 17 carport. Uh, just like a canvas kind of cover, canopy cover for it. So I'll be able to I think we're going to put it right out here. Um, plenty of room to do that. That way the car is out of the way. and We don't have to move it when we start the construction of the shop. But that way the car will be out of the weather. Um, no tree sap will get on it or keep the water off it and stuff. So that will be the plan. I think this is where it's going to go is right over here. Um, but that'll be, that'll be neat to have it done. And just a little keep the car out of the weather. If I put it where I had it before, it would have to get moved later. And I didn't want to have to do that. So... All right, the last of the airbags are on. So all the airbags are on now. We're gonna leak test everything in the morning. Uh, the 4104 is getting there. We have a fitting to replace up front. He is going to sell these 4104 trays, the body pans that go underneath the engine. Uh, there's three of them there. That's original equipment to the 4104, very, very rare. Uh, unfortunately, his cradle that we now have on there doesn't have all the mounts for those. Uh, it's been modified, so he doesn't really have a use for them. So if you're a 4104 enthusiast and you really want to have those back on your bus, uh, I can get you in touch with uh, Cliff, and you guys can work out a deal on those. But they're very rare and valuable. If you had to pay somebody to make those, it cost you a lot of money. And here is the original set that are in very, very good shape. This is the other side, and he's got the brand new Gabriel shocks on there. He said that's the easiest job I think he's done total on the bus. About 40 minutes to have both those on there. Much easier than Juan's. It took us days to do. Uh, I have all the new wheel studs uh, on the hub. That's ready to go back on. Uh, I may We may have to cut the back side of those studs. They might be a little bit too long where they stick out from the bolt. They are longer than the old ones. And they possibly, when I put it on there, I'll find out, they might rub on the brake uh, shoes themselves. And if they do, the back side has to be cut off to make them shorter. Kind of hoping that doesn't have to happen. But sometimes it does. Uh, batteries are fully charged, and hopefully tomorrow we'll have the wheels back on it, and there's a chance we could be driving this thing here tomorrow if everything goes right. We're going to do an oil change. Oh, he did change the valve cover gasket. Um, the old one was very hard and brittle, and it was leaking, so we put a new valve cover gasket on there. That should help. Uh, a little bit of oil down there in that pan. That's what came out of the air system, the air tanks on there when we drained the air tanks the other day. Uh, maybe a quart of water came out of there. And then the uh, little bit of oil, maybe a half pint of oil. Not too bad considering it's probably never been emptied before. I don't know if you noticed, but he's got the baggage bay door on there. The one that covers the generator is back on the bus. So the rubber had rotted away on it. Uh, so he had had new rubber that he got on there. So 
hanging back on there. So that door had, you know, came inside the bus when we got it, but definitely makes it look a lot nicer having all the doors on it. We still have to do the rear tailgate and the radiator door. It'll go back on, but I didn't want to do any of that stuff until after we take it for a test drive up the hill a few times. But it's looking good, looking real nice. Somebody sent me this uh, Stubby 3 8 in, uh, Impact Milwaukee Fuel. This is like the one that I used of Tyler's, so it's super small. Um, 250 foot-pounds. It's awesome. I, Tyler has it. It's, it's one of his most used tools. Um, but I don't know who sent it to me, so there was no name attached to it. Uh, but uh, thank you for it. It's got Yeah, it's amazing. Um, and the battery charger that I have for my other uh, Milwaukee also charges these M12 batteries, which is really cool. So... Excited to use it. Uh, hopefully in a couple days I'll have a video showing it. But uh, if Tyler uses his so much, and I, as soon as I saw it, I, the compact size of it, you can see in their little picture there, you know, how much smaller it is compared to a traditional impact. And my gun impact almost never fits where I want to have it. But to have something that can do 250 foot-pounds, uh, it also has that auto shut-off so you don't over-tighten things with it too. That's my concern. I use it more for taking things off, and you can, you know, run them up snug, but, you know, then tighten them things with the torque wrench so that's a neat setting to have but thank you for whoever sent me that tool it is awesome and i can't wait to use it